Jason C. from the CW Source with an exclusive interview here with Jasmine from Beauty and the Geek. Hi! Good, how are you? I'm having a great time. Me too. We have a lot of fans out there, hit us up on the blog all the time, and they sent some questions. In fact, Kelly wants to know, if you could have chose another partner besides Dave, who would it have been? Hmm. I just like Dave. You just like Dave. I, I just like Dave. Answer. Yeah, Dave was the best. <laughs> Kelly, I'm sorry, she 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 fell in love with Dave from Mexico. I think, yeah. Right? <laughs> All right. So Emmy Lil wants to know what's the worst thing that happened to you during the whole experiment, during the whole show, worst experience. Well, I, I would say um, the worst moment was really a, a confluence of mm -hmm. moments. Okay. Uh, it was right after uh, Joshua called me out on the stairs, and right. so so I had that going on. Uh, plus the fact that uh, Katie and Nicole, uh, who were two people who I was very close to, were now facing each other in the elimination room. So one of the, my good friends was going home. Right, right, right. And the fact that my uh, relationship at that point with Jasmine was falling apart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And really, all of these moments all combined together, yeah. at, the, at the same time, it was, it was a little too much for me to handle. So what's the best beauty advice that you ever gave Dave? Um, Keep your calculator off your watch. <laughs> I think that's the best advice I can give to Dave. <laughs> I think that's what I think that was the best yeah, that I gave yeah. him. Yeah. Did, did you uh, suggest any like Rolex or maybe any other brand? I didn't. I didn't. As long as it doesn't have a calculator. As long as it doesn't have a calculator. I think I said something like Don, like keep your numbers off your watch, but I really meant keep the calculator off your watch. <laughs> Tell me about datedavid.org. So uh, this is a website created by uh, friends of mine who live out in Oregon. I haven't actually seen them in a couple years, uh -huh. but we, we talk on the phone and I am and, and so forth. But uh, they decided that um, they want to get me a date uh, and they decided to create this website. They, they didn't even tell me about they were, they were going to do this. I was at a Quest game uh -huh. and I came back and it's like, I get to see it mail. Was up already? Yeah, it was, it was up already and it's like, what's this? <laughs> this is interesting. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it, it's sort of very funny, I think. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll, I'll get a date from it. Dave influenced you a lot. Will you be doing any LARPing in the future? Um, if Dave asked me to come out to uh, Boston again and LARP with him, it's a definite yes. Yeah, you'd be out there right on there. Yeah, like it, huh? I do. Just Another fan wants to know if you're going to keep removing your chest hair. Yeah, uh, the answer to that is uh, a 99% chance of no. No. <laughs> uh, I, I don't really take off my shirt often enough to justify it, and uh -huh. it's a little too painful for me to, you know, just do daily. Do, yeah, it's like, you're not, you're not going to see it, so, uh -huh. uh, so, exactly. so I'm probably not going to follow up. But I don't know, if, if I get real pressure from a potential future girlfriend, who uh -huh. knows. Maybe from .david.org? Uh, possibly. .david. Dave .david .org. Yes. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Dave. Sure, my Hit pleasure. Hit us up on the CW Source for more exclusive interviews of the Beauty and Geek Final Four.